Hey, Dr. Burke here. In this short video, we're going to talk about hormonal imbalance. I want to give you some very important principles. There's two points I want to bring up on this. Number one, it takes a tremendous amount of problem in the body for a hormone to show up out of balance. So just because your hormones are, are normal doesn't really necessarily mean you're fully, fully healthy. Okay, so that's step number one, especially with the adrenal gland. When the adrenal glands are dys dysfunctional, you have, literally you have to be 90% that of that adrenal has been has to be dysfunctional and unless until it shows up on a clinically so it doesn't show up until far in advanced stages and there's also subclinical uh, things which is things that are sh uh, below the radar and you'd have to look at all the symptoms for a particular condition not just blood tests a lot of times people in their mind that unless they have a blood test you know they're healthy unless the blood test show abnormal, then they start worrying about it. So you might go to the doctor and they might go, okay, come back in six months, we'll keep checking this blood test over and over and over until you have the condition and then they treat it. So that's step one. You can't always go just on hormone tests, okay? Number one. Number two, let's pretend that you do have a hormone imbalance. So you have a deficiency of the thyroid hormone, whatever. What do people do? They take a thyroid hormone, right? This sounds logical. But what causes this problem? That's what's missed. You have to ask what causes a slow thyroid? What causes a deficiency in an, an estrogen or a, an excess of insulin or a excess of cortisol or any of these hormones? That's really what's missing in medicine is the understanding of why. What they do is they treat it directly. They treat the hormone deficiency. So if you're low in a, a hormone, they'll give you the hormone prescription and then you're magically supposed to be better, what? And then when you stop taking it, do you go back to take it again? It doesn't make sense to me. So let me give you a little background. Number one, hormones are communications. They're messages. Just like I'm communicating to you right now. You're listening through your ears right now. You have little receptors here, and then you understand what I say, and then it clicks, and then you're supposed to respond back. Of course, I can't see you, so if, I were, if you were in the room, we could have a conversation. So... If we're having a conversation, the hormone would be the messages between the two people, all right? So they travel through the blood and they connect into these little tiny receptors that receive that hormone and then do the function, whatever the hormone is supposed to do. So the purpose of hormones is to create all these effects in the body, uh, from going to sleep to growing hair to being able to burn fat, all these different things. So you have 600 different hormones in the body. <clears throat> now. This is what I'm going to talk about, the gland. The gland is the thing that makes the hormone. It's the thing that sends the hormone. It's the thing that receives the, bio, the feedback from this hormone to connect the dots to have this whole communication cycle. This is the thing that's the most neglected. It's the, it's the root of most of the, of the hormonal imbalances, yet no one talks about the gland. So what I'm going to recommend the next time you have a problem that's related to hormones is when you go to your doctor, ask him why. <clears throat> Instead of taking, just taking the hormone, why is it deficient? Because when you take a hormone, let's say you took a hormone, it's going to cause your gland not to have to work anymore and it's going to create a dependency on that hormone. And that is why taking years of thyroid hormone pills causes your own thyroid to shrivel up and become dysfunctional. So that is the side effect of taking hormones, is your glands don't have to work anymore. Okay? <clears throat> so we want to support the gland. What I like to do is I like to, instead of getting into diagnosing hormonal stuff, just take the gland that makes that hormone and support it nutritionally. You can even do, uh, there is some even acupressure techniques that you can help the gland um, function better <clears throat> because glands secrete hormones. They're like mini muscles that send hormones into the, into the tissues. So um, we want to do things to improve the root of the problem so then the hormones can balance out whatever, what, if it's an increase or a decrease, it doesn't make a difference. We want to help normalize this right here. So those are the two points that I want you to understand about hormonal balance. I hope this helped. I will see you in the next video.